So I came across this interesting situation as I was trying to do some stuff with uh, a domain name that I wanted to redirect to a website. I didn't want to put a website on that domain. I just wanted to have a redirection. But I also didn't have an SSL certificate on that domain because it doesn't have a website. And if you're in a similar position and you need to redirect a HTTP domain to an HTTP web, HTTPS website, so you're trying to just like, a regular domain that you don't know how to put an SSL certificate on it because it doesn't have a website. If you're trying to redirect that to an actual website, in certain cases, I'll, sh I'll give you an example here, you may be having some trouble. And even if you're not in the exact same boat as me, maybe this will help. So I'm gonna try to keep this video as informative and quick as possible. My name is Mark Joe Szymanski. I make videos like this for web designers, agency owners, and just tech people in general. Let's dive into this. So here's my quick context of what I was trying to do. I wanted to have, I, have, I own the domain mjs.bio. My actual website is markjosemancy.com. There's that's long. I was also going to have a. I was going to direct this to a specific page with like a link in bio, uh, you know, information and links and everything like that. I just wanted to be able to say like, hey, go to mjs.bio, type that in, which that kind of works. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to put that link specifically, that URL, that URL specifically, mjs.bio, into my LinkedIn profile for the website uh, link and my Instagram profile and all that. So I threw that in there and I noticed something very interesting and this caused me some problems. You would think, and I can even show you, you would think that if you just threw that in there, mjs.bio, it would let you redirect just as if you would throw that into the URL bar and it would send you to the right place. There's no, again, there's no website at that. It's just a clean domain name with no SSL or anything like that. So it doesn't have um, HTTPS protocol, it just has HTTP. But if you hover over this, if you do this and then you hover over this and you can look really close down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen right now, it says HTTPS. Now you're thinking, Mark, you just typed it in wrong on LinkedIn. No, I didn't. If you go to the if you go to the, the, the editor thing here and you go down here, I literally just typed it in as mjs.bio. I also typed it in like this without an S just to uh, check. And then if you go back here and you click here, then it's still the same thing. For some reason, like I guess these websites like automatically force, like social media at least, again, checked it on Instagram and LinkedIn, both don't work. It just doesn't work. So then you click on it and then you're just gonna get spin, 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 spin because it's not actually gonna resolve to the right thing. Again, it's not, it's not going to the right place because it doesn't know how to get there and there's some sort of weirdness involved there, okay? So then you go to a, a redirection checker, and I've changed a little bit of the settings here at this point, but if you type in like HTTP, your bio thing here, or your, or your domain, then it's gonna redirect to, like it's gonna find this or whatever, and then it'll redirect to the right one in this circumstance. But if you go like this, and you put an HTTPS on there, then you're gonna get this connection timeout just to verify everything that I just said. Okay, so go check it out there. Then I was like, okay, my next question was, all right, so I understand what I need. I need this to work. I need this redirection to get to a website with SSL on it, but I can't do it. My only other option was I was thinking, well, wait a second, what if I went into my domain name settings, and this just happens to be over at Namecheap, which I'm not a big fan of, but it is what it is. I went, okay, wait a second, what if I, I was playing around with the, the redirecting, and what if I like, you can't really put protocols over here. I was thinking like maybe I could just like force it to be HTTPS, just like look like it so it redirects. Can't really do that. And then I was like, okay, wait, what if I redirected the HTTP to the HTTP? So I changed these two from, uh, to, from HTTPS to HTTP and still that didn't work because that doesn't fix my problem over on the other end, which is that these websites force it, the, the, the URL that you put in there to have HTTPS. So... Then I was like, okay, well, this isn't this isn't going to work then because I have no control. Oh, it doesn't matter what I change the destination URL to or whatever. It, the I need to be able to type in HTTPS colon slash slash the domain that I have, the short domain, and that needs to resolve using you know like again the redirection that we thought. So then I thought, well, wait a second, I don't, but 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 because at this point I'm like, maybe maybe I need to have. Like I've, the only time I've ever added an SSL was when I built a website. So either like, you know, you get it through Cloudways or you get it through like way back in the day, you'd get it through GoDaddy, pay like $10 a year or whatever it was. Or you go to Gridpane in my case now and you um, and you get a, a SSL through there. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to set up, I don't want to have a actual 
WordPress install or whatever at mjs.bio. I just want to have an SSO certificate. So what I thought uh, is what if you just go to Cloudflare and you take your short domain, you pop it in here and you go through and you just set up a free plan and use the redirection tool and, and things like that. And like they even have kind of an SSL type thing in here. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to kind of just show you and walk you through this process now. Okay. So again, just for context, every single other domain that I have actual websites on, I have at Cloudflare. So I should, probably should have thought about this earlier, but uh, everyone's on the free plan. So you just go in there. Like I said, you add a website, you put your short domain in there, you click free plan. And then it does this really awesome thing where it pulls in the uh, the MX records, or not the MX records, but the DNS records. If you had MS, MX records, it would pull those in too. We obviously only have these two, so we're going to continue. So then our next step is we have to copy these new name servers, and we have to change them over here. So we're going to, in my case, go back over to Namecheap. We're going to pop in our new name servers. So what this is actually doing is, again, we're not, even though I have this at Namecheap, again, which I don't really like to manage the stuff through Namecheap or buy domains at Namecheap. The reason I'm only doing that for this one is because I got mjs.bio, that was a sick domain name, I thought, but uh, Cloudflare doesn't have uh, doesn't have that, doesn't have the, the bio TLD. So uh, if we go back here, we pop the name servers in, we press check name servers now, it says might wait, wait, might be a couple few hours or whatever, but uh, normally it takes pretty fast and I'll, I'll speed this up to get there. But we just go through these. Normally I do automatic HTTPS redirect and, and a rewrite. And maybe some of these things need to get changed in this case, but I don't really think so. I think this is going to take care of a lot of the stuff that we're going to do here. Um, always use HTTPS. I would say that because especially in our case now, and then I normally just leave that on and then finish. Okay. As soon as this, as soon as it's fully, um, uh, mjs.bio is fully like active in here, I will come back and we'll talk more. All right. So we got that email that mjs.bio is now fully activated in Cloudflare, which means we have access to the full suite of like free tools and everything like that, including like the universal SSL and everything like that. Okay. So now, uh, if you're through this process, you might be wondering, all right, well, is that all I have to do? We have to do one more step. The reason you have to do one more step is even if you were at like Namecheap or whatever else, and you had those redirect rules, once you change those name servers over, uh, most likely, if not 100%, those rules aren't going to work anymore. So what you have to do in Cloudflare is you have to reset up the redirect rules because it's in here now. It should have like the HTTPS and everything like that. If you look at your um, SSL settings, you can kind of see here that it has like, I think it kind of defaults to flexible. If you need to play around with those, you can. But the point is that you should have uh, this kind of certificate kind of built in with all this, even without having a website, without having hosting and all that sort of stuff. Like that's often overlooked. Like it's, it's all it's all good. But the one thing you have to do is, and this is like extremely unnecessarily kind of convoluted because they're just because there's so many tools in here. If you go down, if you're on your uh, short domain here, then you go down to rules and you go down to page rules. Right here on the free plan, I think you have three rules, and I think you're going to need to use two of them. Um, in the past that I've done this with other domains, uh, you need to use two of them here. So I'm going to actually go over to a different domain that I do something similar with, and I'm going to show you exactly kind of what the deal is here. So basically what you want to do is you want to set up a kind of like a almost like a wildcard forwarding URL. So anything like your short, this will be your short domain, we'll set it up in a second. And then a little asterisk after is going to go via 301, a permanent redirect, depending on how you're setting it up there, you'll have options uh, to whatever you want to. And this doesn't have to be like, I'm going to just direct it for now to my main homepage of my personal website, but it could be technically anything. So um, if we just like click this, for instance, these are the settings that we're going to use just with the other domain. And obviously you could just look at this right now and copy these in here and you should be good to go. So I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pop it over here in a new page rule. I'm going to put the URL. I'm actually going to just go like this actually, because we don't need all that. So mjs.bio cool. And then I'm going to pick a setting and I believe the setting is just forwarding URL here. And then we'll go back here forwarding URL 301 and then our destination. I'll grab this while we're over here. 301 boom and then save and deploy that role. And now there's one other one that I'm not 100% sure if you have to do, but I think you probably should do it just in case because you wanna forward, this always trips people up because nobody, I mean, I don't know why people are still using www, but that's a topic for a different video. You have to grab the w, you wanna probably 
you know, redirect the www just in case that gets put in somehow, or you know, just to kind of catch everything there. Some people are, some people literally hear a domain name and immediately write down www when they uh, when they do that. So you definitely want to make sure that you, uh, while you're in here and you have the opportunity to do so, you just do it as you need to there. All right, so once the page rules are set up, the last thing to do is just hop over to the redirection checker. And this may take a few minutes for the, especially if you're doing this all right away, it may take a few minutes for the SSL to fully like install and everything like that, everything to propagate, give it some time, because I have gotten errors at this step before, but if you click it and you put in the HTTPS like we couldn't before, you check redirects, now you can see that it's moved permanently and it all works as it's intended. And unfortunately, for some reason, you can't, do it without going through like a Cloudflare or some other sort of uh, you know product like that where you can get uh, an SSL and get the actual um, you know domain secured so you can secure, so you can redirect to other secure domains. Um, again, the main reason I did this was because social the social media platforms were being uh, you know kind of annoying about it, but um, this could work in a bunch of different scenarios. So uh, Cloudflare is a free platform and then it's free like the, the platform to be on the platform is free and then those plans for each domain are free so um, I would highly recommend that you go do this if this is something you're interested in I know I will be continuing to do this uh, as I move forward here with these other things so yeah thank you guys so much I appreciate watching the videos hopefully you got something out of this if you do hit the like button down there uh, and subscribe for more content I thank you so much I will talk to you in the next one